Today I'm going to be tackling the job of replacing some rotted wood in the corner trim of the playhouse. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. Some of the materials that and tools that I'm going to need uh, for this job uh, but before I do let me say briefly uh, that if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please take the opportunity to do that uh, there's a little subscribe button there in the lower right corner of the screen uh, there's a lot of good content already on the site and more coming so you don't want to miss that when you do hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the little notification bell that will make sure that you're notified of any new content that comes on the site and that way you won't miss any of the uh, the new material okay let's talk about the material and tools that I'll be using for this job first of all I'm using these 1x4 plastic composite boards uh, as you see they're I think you can see they're textured on one side and then I got this one uh, smooth side so uh, depending on the look you want, I typically go for the textured side. And as I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, I'm slowly replacing any wood that needs to be replaced with this plastic board. This board here is actually a plastic board replacement. Uh, so as um, wood needs repainted or if it uh, gets a little rotting on the bottom I'm just going to head and replace replacing those boards and if you look at the deck here uh, there's a video uh, where I show how to put that decking down okay so uh, with those composite boards I am using um, these uh, grip right fasteners uh, that little uh, box of fasteners comes with a Torx bit that I'm using in my drill there of course you you need a uh, some sort of a, a screwdriver or uh, in this case I'm using my DeWalt um, drill you need a tape measure of course uh, some sort of t-square or ruler um, a marking pen and then I'm using my um, a cobalt 10 inch uh, miter saw uh, in order to, to cut the boards to length Additional tools that will be needed for the demolition part of the project is a good hammer and a pry bar in order to remove that old truck. So with those items, uh, we should be good to go uh, start our project. As with any project, the first step is the demolition step. So let's go ahead and get started and remove that old trim.
Okay, trim is removed. So now we go ahead and uh, cut our boards to length and uh, refasten the new boards. Okay, as stated previously, our board needs to be cut to a length of 68 and a half inches, which is basically right here. So we'll put a mark on there, and also we'll measure our next board, and then we'll go ahead and get cutting. So one of the things I need to do is put a small notch in the trim board so that it can go all the way up and clear the uh, soffit there. You can see it probably better on this side. Uh, that allows the board to protrude out far enough to be received by the other board so that I have a, a 90 degree corner. So we'll cut that out with uh, my uh, coping saw. Okay, with all my decorative pieces back in place, we're going to call this pretty much job done. I do have a little bit of touch-up painting to do on the uh, edges there, but other than that, I'm really pleased with the way this came out. Uh, the board, by the way, I didn't mention previously, I don't believe, uh, is a 1x4 trim board. I actually, I purchased it at Lowe's. I think it's called Sure Edge. Again, it's 1x4. And... Uh, Really nice material to work with, uh, easy to cut, uh, and you use the uh, composite uh, screws, and so the fasteners are really easy to put in. So I recommend this, and uh, sure cuts down on the, the future maintenance. Hey, if you find this uh, type of information useful, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That'll give you notice of future videos. Also, leave me your comments below. I'd like to know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see, um, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are and, and uh, what you think of the site. Love to hear from you. I guess that's it for today, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.